Hello, this is Sunrise Daily TV, your number one news and entertainment channel. My name is Prince William Chimese Richards, the CEO of Sunrise Daily TV and Sunrise Youth Entrepreneur Initiative, LTG GT. Please make Sunrise Daily TV your number one news channel. Do not forget to share our updates on all the social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or WhatsApp platform. Give this video a thumbs up. Now beg at the beg with Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe for more of this. Good day everyone. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily TV. I am your host, Achumba Chumbi With me here is... Anya Mungu Presho of Suza Hear the news headline for today, June 19, 2024. Police take over all the local government sectorates as river state crisis turns bloody. Government kills a rank commander in Anambra State. Police launches my heart for government who killed a rank commander. Two other in Anambra abducted one victim. Nigerian Chief of the Defense Staff links insecurity in the southeast to Simon Emma. Police take over all the government sectorates as reverse the political crisis turns below the news in the doors. All the 23 local council sectorates in River State have been taken over by the police. Youth and British ethnics have thus been warned not to come anywhere near the council sector. According to Grace in Gugoko, Superintendent Police, the public relations officer, this is a square to the breakdown of law and order in the various local government council sector. In the states, we have the police say supporters of the two political functions. Wiki and the same February functions clashed over the tenor of the local government. Council Chairman. The police, in the statement Tuesday, June 18, 2024, evening, said, Case of the date was recorded at Iberia Oma Omoma local government, where police officer and the vigilants were killed. To more bloodshed and prevent for a breakdown of the law and order. She stated the police have taken over the 23 council sectorates and some critical government infrastructure in the state. She said, Convictional police officer and anti police officers have been deployed to these facilities. We are urging all groups, individuals, why urging all the groups and individuals to be law abiding? Said command also was warding off annoying intent to cause mayhem, saying police would not hesitate to impose the full weight of the law on them. Between the wiki and the camps, the tailor of the council chairman expired, but the chairman said. They got extra six months from the functional house of assembly to stay on. The case is now on court and the hearing would resume. Nigerian defense team links insecurity in the southeast to Biafran agitator says countries support Simon Epa. Chief of Defense Staff General Christopher Musa has come out with another claim that some countries are supporting Finland based Simon Eba, known as the Prime Minister of the African Republic government. In Exxon, he alleged that the cause of insecurity in the Southeast is the donation of funds to the Biafran agitators by the people of the region. Mistakes on the issue of Nandi Kanu, where the courts always have the final say. We just obey what the court says. So if the court says this is that, 
we just do But I want to also approve people. There are people that have continued to sponsor these people by contributing money. And you can see that they are not only killing people outside there, they are also killing their own people. So you are giving funding somebody who is also killing you. And I think that would be for foolishness. So all we appeal is people should stop supporting them. Expose all those ones doing those things. Especially people like um, Samoyipa. He's sitting down there in comfort. Some countries are encouraging him to do what he's doing to Nigeria. And we are here supporting him. So people must desist. We must call what is wrong, wrong. But I know that we are taking efforts to ensure that we secure the whole of Southeast and we continue to do that. Uh, we regret the souls have been lost. If you see the way they have killed, these guys are not human beings. They are eating flesh. We have seen them doing cannibalization. We have seen them doing uh, cultism and all these things. So it is, don't, nobody should ever support such kind of people. Because the more you support them, it's like growing a monster. He will come after you. It's just a matter of time. We have seen that happen over and over. So I want to appeal to everyone, never for whatever reason, for whatever games you think, support such people. Government kills in Bangladesh and number of states. The head of the Southeast Security Group, otherwise known as the Bubago in Anambra State, chapter has been killed. He is popularly known as a local. According to some youths in the town, he has been kidnapping in Inewi and beyond. Police launches manhunt for gunmen who killed Vigilante. Two others in Anambra abducted one other victim. The police command in Anambra has condemned the killing of a vigilante commander and two others as well as abduction of one person by unidentified gunmen in the Newe Hotel on Monday. The command's police public relations officer, PPRO, SP Ikejuku Ikenga, who confirmed the incident on Tuesday in Onicha, said that the Commissioner of Police, CP Nage Itam, had ordered immediate manhunt for the fleeing armed men. Ikeda said that the gunmen operated in a red Highlander SUV and abducted a resident in Newi about 1.30 p.m. on Monday. He said that the police trained the gunmen to know in the Demili South local government area of the state where they engaged security operatives in a government battle. Ikeda said that during the gun duel, one of the security operatives was fatally hit by the bullet from the hoodlums. In an attempt to escape the scene, the bullet also fatally struck two innocent passerby in the area. The police response the police response team at the scene recovered the bodies of the victims and took them to the hospital. Regrettably, three of the victims, including a 22-year-old lady, were confirmed dead by the doctors on duty, while two others are currently receiving treatment, he said. The spokesman said that the commissioner of the police condemned the killing in strong terms, describing the killers as cowards who had murdered sleep. The police commissioner also called on members of the public, especially eyewitnesses, to assist the police with information on the ongoing operation. An eyewitness who pleaded anonymously said that the hoodlums who carried out the act we are enforcing the Monday sit at home order. The source also said that the government collected cell phones and other valuables from their victims in the hotel. The development, according to the source, forced many people who disobeyed the sit at home order to quickly close their stores and run home.